So basically, it rained earlier today. It basically stormed really bad. So I am going to stay in here and keep on putting stuff back. I do need to sort through my closet and all of that because it's very dirty and just messy because I just throw stuff in there and don't really think about it. So I am going to probably start organizing that tonight but probably not going to finish it until tomorrow. So I have put my clothes back up and my dresser and I've started to move stuff back like the baby crib and I do have my alarm clock in here. I did sort through some stuff that was in my box for my bookshelf. I do not have my bookshelf in here because we are going to be painting it like a different color. I'm not going to say, so it's a surprise, but I don't have it in here, but I did go through the stuff that was on it. So I think I'm just going to leave that in a box for right now, but... I did have to get new curtains, as you can tell. Those off-white curtains, that's what you see in the background. But we are going to be going to Walmart probably tomorrow because it's like 7.40. So, we are going to buy some more decor. I need another lampshade. But my lampshade, it's like small at the top but then it grows wider as it goes down and the ones that we saw at Walmart were just like the same size all the way down so I don't necessarily know how that's gonna work so we're just gonna see but other than that we did have some decor here at home so I still have the same bed sheet that I used to have because we haven't bought one at Walmart yet. We're just making do what we have until we can actually go to Walmart or Bed Bath and Beyond. I accidentally called it Bath and Body Works, but it's not the same thing, so. <laughs> I don't really shop at Bed Bath and Beyond, honestly. I just haven't had the need to do that. I've been there like once or twice. So. This box, this box basically has stuff from my bookshelf and I've basically gone through it, but I can't really put it back up because my bookshelf needs to be painted and all that is supposed to be done by Saturday. But we haven't bought the paint yet. It is around 7.40 and I am going to go ahead and do the water pick and slowly start getting ready for bed because I don't really have any other plans than to just focus on my room. So I'm just going to slowly start getting ready for bed. So I am going to do the water pick. I have the water pick flosser. It's not wireless or anything. It's just your standard water pick. My brother used it, so now that I have braces, I use it too. So, I use it around once or twice a week, but I do try to do it frequently but me I'm a procrastinator even the things that don't take time or like don't take much time like watering the plants I put them off and put them off so that's what I have done now my mom just turned on a lamp so that's why the lighting is way better it's like a bigger lamp so it looks better. So I have started a nighttime skincare routine. 
So I have bought this charcoal clarifying mask from Equate and I use it every night. I usually put it on when I am about to brush my teeth and I have been trying to really take care of my skin and you know wash my face and things like that because I didn't really used to do that and my acne isn't bad it's really not it's just to me it just sometimes gets on my nerves so I have been washing my face every morning and now I have started to wash my face with this charcoal mask every night so I have an electric toothbrush it has two different brush heads because I have braces so I kind of have to have that honestly <laughs> so I also use a Christmas tree it's basically a flosser that goes in between your brackets and I use a mouthwash that is two parts you do three squirts of each and you let it sit for 20 seconds and then you just rinse like normal mouthwash and it does help fight the coronavirus so I usually use it every night anyway so it's kind of like a bonus to using it and I have bangs I don't know if I showed you guys my bangs in the morning routine because I did cut some stuff out because it's getting long and because of my internet it takes forever to upload so I don't know if I kept that in I'm so sorry like when I'm talking sometimes like my air is like getting caught in my nose or whatever like you're seeing through your nose so I'm having trouble while I'm trying to speak so that's just like eh so I am going to show you the charcoal mask. I will show you guys all what I'm doing. It will be a picture or what I'm doing now. I am trying my best with this with what I can do. So here is the charcoal mask. Well it's a cleanser. And it is basically the Equate version of Dior. So, what you have to do is you have to wet your face first with a washcloth, and then you're supposed to apply this on your face like a mask, and then you're supposed to rinse it off. And when you rinse it off, it kind of feels, well, it looks soapy, like you're washing your hands. So, it takes a little bit to wash it off, but. I have been using it. I share it with my brother, so that's why it looks like a lot has been used, but really not. So it is dermatologist tested, so that's good. And when you put it on, it just feels like your face is like it feels heated because I use cold water, so that might be why it feels that way. I'm not so sure. I think this was a reasonable, a reasonable price. I got it at Walmart, so if you are looking into washing your face and doing that, I definitely recommend this clarifying charcoal cleanser. You could buy Equate or there is a Bior version. The Bior is deep pore charcoal cleanser. So this is the toothbrush that I use. I am not necessarily sure like what kind it is or anything. But all I know is that it is a electric toothbrush or it'll be I'll zoom in so you can see. It does come with a charger. I haven't needed to charge it lately. But this is the first head that I use. And this is basically like a normal toothbrush. This is 
what the head is used for. So it's like a normal one. And the second one, which is this one, is used for going in between the brackets like this so it can get like the food that is in between the brackets. So this is the Christmas tree. That's what I call it and it also goes in between the brackets so you just can get the food that this didn't get or if you didn't use that then you can use that. And the water pick also goes in between the brackets to get all the food out so these two products all get the food out. I am going to take a picture of the water pick and insert into this video. I can't really go into my bathroom and show you guys all the products like this because my bathroom is very messy and all that. But I will insert a photo of what the water pick looks like. So the water pick is very helpful for me. I recommend it to anyone who has braces. And basically you can get a wireless one but I don't. So I refill mine with water and I always wash it out. And then I have it on the low setting from when I just got my wisdom teeth out and I wasn't really supposed to have that on high because that could like hurt something. So I had it on the low setting and I flipped the switch on and I just grabbed the little tool and just, you know, move it around my mouth and all that. And I put about halfway, like that much water. So I use about that much, honestly. But I am going to be doing a braces video, so I will go more in depth. But right now, I can't really go in my bathroom and show you guys all this because my bathroom is messy. Like, very messy. So, I'm just kind of showing you the products that I use and all of that stuff. I am using Kids Crest Carry Protection Toothpaste to Sparkle Fun, but I am going to be getting a different toothpaste that is more like teeth whitening. Because I need something stronger than this right now, and I'm just going to get that toothpaste when I'm done using this toothpaste. I'm still not finished with it, so I don't really want to waste it, but when I am done with this, I am going to be using a different toothpaste. So, the mouthwash that I use at night is Oracare. So, you do three pumps of each into this cup and then you let it sit for 20 minutes and then you swish for about 30 seconds and spit it out. So this helps fight the coronavirus so that's a plus but it is a good mouthwash. It also helps with ulcers and things like that because I get those a lot and I actually have one right now that hurts when I eat because it's rubbing on like my back bracket like the very very back so when I eat or as I'm talking sometimes it just like rubs it so I probably need to put on some wax tonight I don't know I haven't been doing that so I don't know I think I'm just going to use this mouthwash for right now and if it gets worse then I'll use some wax but this cup comes with it so also a plus I'm not sure how this cost, like how much this cost, but I did get it at the dentist, so we bought it from my dentist, so I'm not necessarily sure how much this cost, but Oracare is also gluten free, so that's also a plus. This is the hairbrush that I use for my night routine, and I know it has hair on it right now, so. I've been washing my hair as much as I can and brushing my hair a lot because I have a perm 
and it's died down a lot, and I also have bangs, so I've been styling and brushing my hair as much as I can to get all of those tangles and all that stuff. So I try to wash my hair about two times a week. So my sleep schedule has been a little off lately. I usually go around 11 to 12. This definitely changed, so yeah. I mean, it's like I will talk to like my mom and my brother or my dad, and I watch TV, and I just don't really think about the time. And it's like, oh, then I get tired. But I can actually sleep in my bed because last night I had to sleep in the little living room because the paint was drying, and paint smells nasty when it's not dried. Like. You just don't want to sleep in that room, so. But now, I am going to go to bed. And I will send a, well, like, import a picture of the time it is. So thank you guys so much for watching my night routine. And this probably wasn't like other videos that you've seen of night routines, but I'm just trying to do what I can and work with what I have because I can't really go into my bathroom or anything, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified every time I post. I post every Saturday and I post bonus videos every Wednesday. Don't forget to click the the like button if you liked my nighttime routine. So my goal for this year's subscribers is 30 and we have 20 right now. Last time I checked, I don't have the computer on right now and I do have the tablet. That's what I'm using to record. So we did get a new laptop. We haven't set it up yet so I haven't been able to check. So I'll try to get the account on my tablet's YouTube account, so on my tablet's YouTube app, so I can access all of that information. So, let's get to 30 subscribers. I think we can do it. We have five months. So, there will be a reward. When we get to 30, I will make a video and all of that. But I'm not going to say what it is because I want it to be a surprise. So. And on Barbie and Ken's honeymoon, it got like 32 views. Woo woo. So thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful and just happy. So. If you have subscribed, comment hashtag BBL fans and you'll get a shout out in the next video. And also if you have a video suggestion, comment down that below and you will also get a shout out when I do the video just like this video.